morning and welcome to Fairtrade News. I'm Ella and this is Megan. Fairtrade is a charity that began in 1992. It helps farmers and farm workers get the money that they deserve and what they've worked for. Fairtrade products cost more than the original price. For example, the fair trade price for bananas is £1.25, whereas the original price is £1. Other examples of fair trade products include fruit, chocolate, tea, coffee, sugar, bean sprouts, honey, peanuts, handicraft, cocoa, cotton, wine, clothes and footballs. In our class, we had a business investigation and we went into five groups. Farm workers, farmers, exporters, importers and the supermarkets. We were told to be self-interested and maximise our profits like in the real world. Let's see what happens without fair trade. I'm the supermarket and I'm top of the chain. I demand 47p per bunch. I'm the import company and I think that's way too high. I can't work with that. You can't. I suppose I'll have to find another importing company as there are lots. Another company? Yes. I suppose I'd better accept it all for that. Good. Done deal. <laughs> I'm the import company and I need 20p. I'm the expo company. That's way too much. I hardly have anything left. I am not going to buy from 20p. You're going to have to move. There are many expo companies. I can eat it on my bananas or somewhere else. Well, I suppose I'll have to take your offer then. Done deal. I'm the exporter and I need 18p. This will give you 15p. I'm the farm owner and I need more than that to keep my farm running. Well, if you can't accept my deal, then I'll have to find, find another farm owner elsewhere then. Then I'll have to agree with the deal then. I'm a farm owner. I only have 15p, which will leave you with 1p. Oh, 1p? I cannot live on 1p. That's a ridiculous man. I'll go to a different worker then. A different worker? Yeah. But what about me family? They won't have much to eat, man. But I guess I'll have to accept the offer of 1p. It's better than nothing. I'm sorry, but I can't offer you anymore. Okay. Deal then? Yes. As you can see, the supermarkets had 47p, importing company 20p, exporting company 18p, the farm owners had only 14p, and the poor old workers had 1p. We found out that the supermarkets had most of the money, and the farm workers and farmers had the least amount of money. Consequently, the workers barely had enough money to survive. The farmers didn't have enough money either. As a result, they couldn't expand their farm. It appeared that this happened because the supermarkets had more negotiating power, whereas the farmers and the workers had no negotiating power. Let's see what happens when fair trade helps. Megan's with a worker right now. Megan? Thanks, Ella. I'm with a worker right now. Hello. Here I'm one. I'm from Fairtrade News and I can confirm you that Fairtrade will give you an extra 10p per bunch of bananas. Oh really? They will give me 10p per bunch? Yes. Yes! Yes! Thank you! Thank you! You've helped me a great deal. Thank you. That's another fantastic deal made. Bye from now and back to Ella in the studio. Thanks Megan. So there you have it. Fairtrade helps the farmers by distributing customers' money to those who need it most. Therefore, making the whole market fairer. Remember, look out for the Fairtrade logo. That's all from now. See you next time on Fairtrade News. Oh, 1p. I cannot live on 1p. That's a ridiculous man. 
I got a different worker then. A different worker? Yeah. But what about my family? They won't have much to eat, man. But I suppose they'll have to have the one pea. I guess it's better than nothing. Oh, one P. I cannot live on one P. That's a ridiculous man. I go to a different worker then. A different worker? Yeah. But what about my family? They won't have much to eat, man. But I suppose I'll accept the offer of one P. I guess it's better than nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry. <laughs> it's me crying.